$14 million here, $150,000 there, going line by line of the mayor's budget, which he says is focused on economic development, but community activists say doesn't go far enough. The $1.3 billion plan would send close to half of that to the sheriff's office and millions more toward crime initiatives. $1.8 million to cure violence and $150,000 to First Coast Crime Stoppers. But Northside Coalition's Ben Frazier doesn't think that's going to make the kind of impact the mayor thinks it will. The reality is that this budget is still old school and disappointing. It pays no real attention to the demands and desires of the people. The sheriff's office had requested about $487 million, but in an updated budget, scaled back $3 million of that. Frazier says he wanted to see even less go to JSO and reinvest it in the community. We think that more of it should be used for social services, for community services. Line items also include beautification projects, facade improvements, and updates to public works on the northwest side. Frazier says that's a start, but questions how the area can get more jobs to those who need them. You can't do it with a simple beautification project. We think that's a nice step in the right direction. But what we need now is something much more concrete, something much more substantial in terms of addressing these economic disparities. Ahead at 6, on your side, David Jones continues our team coverage of the budget proposal and digs deeper into infrastructure funding. Reporting, Alex Osiris, First Coast News, on your side.